Hey everyone, uh, thanks for stopping by today. I've already kind of started my process here. Um, I've picked the photos I'm going to use. It's me and my youngest doing some stupid Snapchat photos. Um, I will explain as the video goes along what the photo, what story I'm actually going to tell. But I'm working on white cardstock. I'm going to have my photo strips on this side, something like that. I want a couple of strips of pattern paper on this side. I'm going to bring in some mixed media. I want to bring in some of this beautiful floral. So I'm going to pop you on fast forward and start playing with my layers. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off the branding strips of these pattern papers and cut and tear some strips as well. I'm going to use both sides of each of these pattern papers. This blue one is called Inky Depths and then the other one is called Moonlight. Um, I'm just using my Tim Holtz ruler to tear those edges and when I tore this one I kind of went oh hang on a second that's torn on the wrong edge so I pulled out my paper trimmer again and trimmed the other side of that and I'm just going to line those up so I'm happy with them and then I am going to use my uh, ink distressing tool no, not my ink distressing tool, my edge distressing tool to distress the edges of all four of those papers just to give them a bit more texture and interest. I'm going to not make you watch all of that. And I think that I um, very lightly tack the four of those strips together, pop them aside, and I'm going to do a quick clear coat of gesso on my background. Uh, just using white cardstock today. You want to want to get messy with some mixed media, um, so I'm just going to apply my clear gesso and pop that aside to dry. I'm going to do some embossing with my Versamark and some gold embossing powder. Um, I am going to come back on live in a second, so I'm going to stop talking, and you can just watch me emboss for a minute. For a minute. Okay, so this is as far as I got with my background. I'm really happy with how this is looking. And I knew I wanted to add some stamping. I have found that I get results that I'm not expecting, that I don't like, when I don't experiment a little bit. So I popped my background aside. I pulled out this piece of... Um, it is white textured cardstock that has a coat of gesso on it. You can see I've done a few different experiments. Um, here and here I've played with two different blue colours uh, for actually the background on this page and then I decided to go with the pink. Um, but this one is Lindy's Stamp Gang Bavarian Blue with a bit of water and packaging technique. This is Faded Jeans Distress Oxide. Again, packaging technique. This is the pink that I ended up going with, and that's what I experimented first on. So you can see there, I've used this stamp from my stash. This one, this one here that has all like blurred together, I stamped straight over. This color was completely 100% dry, but I stamped straight over with the Fader Jeans Distress Oxide, and you can, I left, I left my stamping to dry overnight. When I came back, this is how I found it. You can see my Distress Oxide has all kind of smeared and blended together. This is better, but it's still not that stamp. Um, and that's using my Archival Ink in Cobalt. So that's that one there. You can see the lines are less smudged, but still kind of running together. So, okay, I don't want to put that on my background page because that's not what I want. So I've then grabbed a sealer that I have, sprayed this, left it overnight to dry, come back. Um, this was on Friday night, I think, before I went away for the weekend. And then I have grabbed my stamp, my Distress Oxide again, stamped over the top after that was, after my spray sealer was completely dry. And I've come back to this. I'm really, really happy. I just thought that I would share this because I know that 
uh, quite often I will get results that I'm not expecting or I want a particular result and it doesn't work how I thought it might. And so I've got this piece of cardstock here. You can see I've done a few other bits of experimenting um, with some other things here. But this was exactly what I wanted. It is fairly clear. It hasn't gone all smudgy like this one. So I'm going to pull out my background. I'm going to pop you on fast forward. Just thought I would share that little tip. Um, if you don't have time to play or if you haven't thought about it, uh, I just thought I'd share. So I hope that you've learned something and I will pop you back on fast forward. Okay, so I am back and um, you'll have to excuse me. I'm just trying some new software for this voiceover. Um, I've just tried this about 12 times and it hasn't been working. So I'm trying a new piece of software and I'm hoping that it works. Um, I don't know what happened to my footage for my background. I have used the smooshing technique. I know it's very technical. That is the technical name for it. Uh, I've used my Distress Oxide ink in spun sugar, activated it with some water after I have smooshed it onto some plastic packaging and then smooshed said packaging onto my background. Let the colour move around um, and mix up a bit. And then I have added splatters with the exact same technique and also added some splatters with some gold mist from my stash. Uh, again, I don't know what happened to my footage. I'm really sorry. Uh, I have decided to back my photos with that Inky Depths uh, pattern paper. And as you can see, when I first trimmed it, I left it as a plain rectangle and found that I, I was covering up most of my stamping. So I was not happy with that. So I just trimmed it down and then distressed the edges that I cut. I am going to come in with my stamping next and watch what I do. Because I'm so smart. Splat! Nice. So I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? But then I remembered that I had not only pre gessoed my background, but I had also sealed this colour. So baby wipe to the rescue and I just blotted it up and it's all gone. Uh, I'm adding my stamping to both sides of my photo and then a couple on the top right hand side where I know my title's going to go. I'm using my heat gun to dry that off. Uh, being careful not to hold the heat gun too long in one place so that my paper doesn't warp too much. I'm going to start sticking all my bits down. I start with that right hand side where I know my title is going to go. That's why there's a big gap in the stamping there. And I'm going to bring in some gold thread in three places as well. So I'm going to start with my title cluster and I'm just going to shove that in underneath all of those uh, paper strips and glue it down with my scotch tacky glue. I'm going to add a couple of dots on the loose ends just so that, uh, that they stay where I want them to stay. I'm going to add some foam to my words and then when I stick these down I'm going to also add a bit of the tacky glue to the foam dots just to make sure they stay. With all that mixed media in the background and then the thread I just wanted to be triple sure. I'm going to do a little bit of embellishing. I'm going to start here with a flare badge and that guy says um, shine bright. I've got the layout right next to me. I don't want to add too much embellishing because I'm really happy with the way my background came together. I am going to get another one of those little mason jars on. Aren't they adorable? I love them. And I'm going to add a couple of other stickers. That one that I just put on says you do you, which is just perfect. I try to squeeze this other mason jar in here, but I was like, oh, it covers up too much. But it fits up the top here. So that made me very happy. I've got, I'm going to use half of a label and this little banner piece that says love you. I'm just going to lay those up together. And then I'm going to add a couple of leaves and a couple of the die cut flowers, the little sketchy ones, which are really cute. I'm going to add one to each of those three clusters. So one with the title, one with the little banner at the top left, and one with the mason jar on the bottom right. Well, in the bottom middle of the page, really. 
these leaves are just gorgeous I don't even know I can't even explain why I love them but they're beautiful love them going to add some gold thread to all of my clusters the um, I'm gonna stick some stuff flat to my background so this mason jar goes on and then I'm gonna stick my thread over the top of the mason jar and then my little ticket XOXO on top of that just applying some glue there I think this is where yeah I decided to stick down my photo cluster Um, I don't normally scrapbook Snapchat photos, I say, as I'm just sharing my second post for Anna's craft cover for this month, and they're both Snapchat photos. Um, but both of these uh, pages have got stories to go with them, and the story behind this one is actually, this, this guy, right until he was about two, was Mr. Serious. Like, he was just so serious, and he would just sit back and observe the world. He was, he was fun with me, he was fun with his dad. Um, but pretty serious. I had lots of people say to me, um, no, I don't think he likes me. Uh, and then all of a sudden at two, his little personality really started to come out and he started to be his silly, funny, sweet little self around everyone. Um, and that's what I'm documenting on this page. I have shared other bits of the story on other pages. Um, I've got the page sitting in front of me, so I'll just read you the journaling. So it's totally ridiculous the amount of fun we have with Snapchat, but it is fun. Laugh out loud. I love that you now play along and get your silly on with me. So for a long time, he would just look at me like I was a crazy nut job. Um, and now he plays along with the crazy nut job and it's fun. So I'm just going to add my journaling down the left hand side there with my gold pen. I'm pretty sure I don't make you watch that. Trim off the edges. And then I think you get a close up and then into the stills. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. It appears that I've got to the end of the video and my voiceover has worked. Woohoo! I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope that I've inspired you. Make sure you head over to the shop. I will leave links to everything in the description box below. Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure you leave them below. Uh, and I will be back again, I think, tomorrow with another share. So stay tuned. This collection is absolutely stunning and I have been so inspired to play with it. Uh, have a fantastic day and I will see you very soon. Bye.